thing. I know there's some people out there that want to know how you did your setup and what exactly you did. Now, I want to really get into the convention. So is there any way that if you want to let people know that this listening, how they can reach you, how they can get in contact with you, people that are going to their conventions and looking to live stream from there? Uh, yeah, okay. sure, sure. I have I have no problem with anyone uh, reaching out to me on Facebook. You can just uh, facebook.com slash M-A-R-K-U-S. R U S S E L L U S. So going kind of for like the Latin name theme there, Marcus Rosellus. Uh, my name's Mark, um, but that's sort of what the handle is. Um, you just search Mark Russell Las Vegas, and my face will pop up. You can hit me up there. I'm on uh, Ron Paul Daily Daily Paul on Yo Yo Ceramic um, YouTube. Yo Yo Ceramic. Pretty much anything on the internet. Yo Yo Ceramic is me. So. <laughs> cool, so you can reach cool. me from there too yeah all right just in case we didn't have time i want to make sure that people got there because a lot of people uh they want to set that up as well okay so let's take it back to where where you left off at yeah so so basically we were all excited we thought the rules change was coming um but it was really interesting on the stage was a new visitor and i wouldn't have noticed him but there was a guy seated two rows behind me who recognized the guy from either college or from high school or something like that, something <laughs> bizarre like that. And he, told his, and he told his friend, and she came up to me, and this is, and this is all on the tape, this is all on the stream. Um, a girl named Wendy came up to me, and she said, that man, um, hold on, I wrote the name down. Uh, she goes, that man is... Um, uh, you talking about Romney's attorney? No, Tim Morgan. He's an RNC attorney named Tim Morgan, okay. and he wasn't there yesterday. Okay, so this guy is new on the scene, and all I know, and that's all I know. And then the next thing you know, um, Carl Bunce, who is the director, Nevada director of the Ron Paul campaign, was put behind the podium to give a few remarks and um, essentially communicate to the Ron Paul delegation that we play by the rules and we are not going to unbind our delegates. And that that is, um, and we never intended to do that, and that's what Dr. Paul wants us to do. So basically, that set the tone, and that is why no one made the motion to do any sort of, um, you know, revisit the bylaws report and amend the bylaws. Um, now, okay, and, okay, I mean, so, why, so he did that because he knew you guys didn't have the majority, or, or why did he, why did he, you uh, know, my best speculation, and this is all just speculation. I, you know, like I said, I don't. I'm, mean, you know, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know most of the folks on the campaign. So, um, basically, uh, the RNC attorney was there. I'm guessing he, he and Carl and the other leaders had a conversation, and um, and then the next thing you know, Carl is telling us we are not going to unbind. And then for the rest of the day, that guy was gone, and I never saw him again. Okay, okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to stop for a second because this was probably the most talked about thing on the chat that I remember seeing. Everybody was like, why are we not unbinding? Why are, why are, why are we doing mm -hmm. that? And so let me, let me ask you then, what's the, what's the energy like in the room? How are the Ron Paul supporters looking at this? Because we all want, obviously, to unbind if we can. You know, at that point, you know, Sunday did not go well for us. We, we wanted to do that. Um, we also wanted to pass... We, uh, we wanted to completely scrap the Nevada Republican platform and replace it with a 10-point um, liberty platform, and we failed to do that. And, and the only reason we failed to do that is we didn't follow parliamentary procedure properly, as far as I can tell. Um, it, we, we tried to rush it through and do it in haste, and we broke a few procedures um, in Robert's Rules, and the chairman shot us down. He's a good chairman. He's a fair chairman. He shot us down. And then at that point, the only thing we had left to do is try to suspend the rules. And that requires a two-thirds. And we didn't get the two-thirds. And um, so at that point, any hope of trying to pass a new state platform was shot. And if we couldn't even get two-thirds for that, I mean, we, couldn't, we wouldn't even be able to unbind the delegates. And I will, ha I will have everyone know it is unclear as to whether unbinding the delegates would have an effect on anything overall, um, because, and also keep in mind that 
that the bylaws, they can be changed in private committee, too. And there will be a state central committee between now and uh, the convention. So if that state central committee, which, by the way, is about 80 percent Ron Paul, if that state central committee wants to unbind the delegates, they can do that if they decide to do that. So um, so and also, let's say let's say I'm a del- let's say I'm a national delegate, which I'm not. If I go to Tampa and I'm told to vote for Romney because, you know, we're a bound state, let's say I draw the card out of the hat that says I got to vote for Romney, and I instead vote for Paul, well, the punishment that would be incurred on me would come from Nevada, not from the RNC. It would come from Nevada. They might say, uh, you can't be a delegate again, uh, you can't do this, you can't do that. So... I mean, you know, really, and it's just so unclear as to okay, what, okay. what would occur. And, and really, if we don't want to start a lot of, I mean, let's win this. I think we should just win this on the ground with the delegates. And best case scenario, Romney, Romney doesn't walk into the convention with the whatever, with the 1,100 delegates he needs. And then it's a moot point anyway. Well, here's, here's and, the thing. Uh, if, you, if, it's, if it's looking like you clearly had the majority, uh, and I guess it wasn't looking like that from the way some things were panning out, I would say all day we need to get it our way and on the highway if we got it like that. Don't don't no mercy. But if you ain't, if you don't have the majority like you're clearing up now, you're clearing it up more now than a lot of people that got to see it on a live stream. We were just yeah, unclear and, why. And, and you, you know, know you have to understand like this is a coordinated effort. There are leaders in place. I mean, there are there are those five or six people where you see what they are doing and I trust them and I trust their judgment. Yeah. And personally, I trust I trust Carl Bunsen's judgment. I trust yeah. I trust all their judgment. And if they don't want to unbind, then I'm then I'm not going to unbind. Um I mean, you'd have to essentially raise up an insurrection against the leadership of the of the Long Paul campaign and try to unbind. Well, I mean, that is not going to go well. I mean, there's no way you'd be, I mean, how would that even No, work? no, 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 you're um, right, you're right. Unless, unless we, uh, unless we can honestly see that some people in the Ron Paul campaign have uh, other agendas, we've heard about people inside the Ron Paul campaign, this campaign and last, that unfortunately some, some people had uh, issues with or trust issues with. But what I'm saying is if you guys know these people and you guys are talking with them and you guys obviously had meetings probably prior to this, then uh, yeah, yeah. If you trust them, then that's good, uh, and that's that's why I want you on here so we could clear that up on, on why that's going down. But obviously, you guys did a great job because uh, what did you guys get? Twenty two out of twenty five. Yeah, twenty two out of twenty five. It was a huge victory. The we lost the rural rural counties in Nevada, which is not surprising. Wow, that's that's awesome, man. That's awesome. I know we yeah. got we got a couple more minutes be, uh, before we end of the show. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. I remember everybody was talking I about mean, you guys eating chips, making noise. I remember that was a funny moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I appreciate all of you who uh, wanted me to eat the chips. I, my my whole meal that whole day, I had breakfast and then I had a bag of chips and a slice of pizza and a brownie, and that's all I ate the whole day. <laughs> yeah, I think somebody from, a uh, matter of fact, Dana, I think from uh, L.A. Liberty HQ said her, and it might have been some others, or just her mentioned something about the pizza. Didn't you guys get that from an outside source? Or I have no, well, no, it was the viewers. It was the live stream viewers. They yeah. ordered pizza to the convention. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. That's how we got to be, man. And see, when we're doing stuff like that, then they can't take us down because they ain't got enough fingers, enough arms. They ain't got enough mans behind buttons. They ain't got enough drones <laughs> to watch us all. You know, what I'm they don't you know that's that. right. And I mean, bringing a camera to this thing that gives you that gives you so much empowerment. There were at least three or four times where someone tried to intimidate me, get me to move my seat, or get me to do something. I just had to put the camera on them, and they ran away with their tail between their legs. Awesome. I mean, cameras give you real time accountability. They don't let people bully you. Exactly. And if it's live, it immediately tells the world, "Hey, here's what's going on. Get it on Twitter. Get it on Facebook." Exactly. Get Get it on the blogs and let the people know. And also, it is encouraging to all the other Ron Paul supporters out there. I want people to improve on what I did. I had no, I had no intention for this to blow up as big as it did. I'm pleased it did. This was just a hatch job project I thought up of the Thursday before I was going to fly out of Vegas. Hey, man, you know what? It, it doesn't matter how you did it. All that matters is that you did, you know? And, and I'm telling you. It was it was entertainment for a lot of us. A lot of us that wanted to see. I mean, we're we're checking out news articles at the same time it's going on. We're seeing what's being reported. But anyways, so let we me are, let me give 
Well, go ahead, go ahead, real quick. Yeah, one piece of advice is if you are going to be operating, uh, you know, operating a camera. Like I put some research. I read all the rules beforehand. I made. I read. I picked up a little handbook on Robert's rules, and I mean, I've had experience with it before. But you know, be experienced. Know what the 